Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a custom cursor inside of Roblox. So we want to locate the Roblox player, wherever you got to save, it's probably on your desktop. You have to have the actual Windows application downloaded because you need the local files to edit the cursor. We're going to go to Roblox player, right click and open file location. After that, we have the folder content and then we go into textures. And then we need to find cursors. It's right here, cursors. And then in cursors, we have keyboard and mouse. Here are all the three images that Roblox uses for uh, their cursors. And what we want to do is get some custom cursors, name them the same as the Roblox cursors in this folder. So that Roblox takes our custom cursors instead of the default ones. I'm going to close this for now. A site for good cursors. It's called Osu Skinner. So just find this site. It's called Osu Skinner. And here you can browse through different kinds of cursors, whatever you like. They have some uh, filtering options and you can just find a nice cursor that you like. I'm going to take this cross, for example. Oh, I have my ad blocker on. I'm just going to refresh that. There we go. Uh, right now I have this cursor selected. Oh, just reloaded on me. And uh, when you have the actual cursor selected, you can go ahead and download it. Unnamed skin. Clear selection element options and download. So you go into the cursor and you download it. We're going to go into, so we're, we want to keep this file explorer open. We can right click on the actual file explorer icon in your taskbar and you can click again, file explorer for another window. We can go into downloads and here I have the cursor. Now inside the cursor, you're going to have two images. It's the default cursor and the cursor enlarged by two X. If needed for any type of applications. Um, what we want to do is just temporarily create a new folder. We're going to call it cursor. I actually spelled that wrong, but who cares? Put the zip file inside of our um, folder and we can extract it here. When you extract it, you're going to get these two PNGs. I deleted the zip file because we need, we don't need it right now. And now what we have to do is if we look closely here, we need to make the size of our image on our cursor. We need to make it the same as uh, this image. So if we check the dimensions of the default image in Roblox is 64 by 64 pixels. Now you can do this through many different applications. One of them is Photoshop, but Photoshop costs money. And another uh, alternative for Photoshop is a website called Photopea. Now what Photopea does is it's basically a free version of Photoshop and you can just create a new project, set your width to 64 and 64, click, cre click create. This will create a new project that's the exact dimensions of the cursor that we're trying to edit. You can hold control and press plus to just enlarge the image. And now we're going to go into our cursor. We're going to take our cursor 1x. And we are also going to go into our Roblox folder and take the arrow far cursor inside of here as well. Now why we want to do that is because this is the center of the cursor. We can delete the background just so we see what's going on because our new crosser is a bit transparent. But as you can see, the center of our current cursor is the same as our wanted cursor. So this image is good to go. You can go ahead and either hide or delete this arrow far cursor. And now we want to export this. So if we just go to file, export as, we can export it as PNG because we want the transparency. We don't want the background to be white because you're going to have a big white uh, cursor just on your screen. So just export PNG save for web export png quality is on max and we can name it 
new cursor for now. Don't use palettes and you don't need to click uh, attach metadata. We can save that. Our new cursor is downloaded. If we open the file location, I'll just put it into our folder with the previous cursors just so um, just so we keep it organized. Now, we have the new cursor and we have the keyboard mouse cursor. Now, what I suggest you do is that you take the old Roblox cursor and just move it into the folder where your new cursor is. And then you delete it from the actual Roblox folder because we just want to keep it just in case something goes wrong so that you can revert your game to its original state without messing up some files. Now, we want to drop the new cursor inside of uh, the uh, Roblox keyboard and mouse. And now we want to take the name of this cursor that was inside of the Roblox folder originally. We want to rename it, so just right click rename and then control C to copy the name of that old cursor and paste it onto our new cursor. Now Roblox has the same name for the cursor, but we just uh, change the image so that it thinks that this cursor is still its original cursor. Now your cursor is uh, switched up and you can find more cursors for these two different types of uh, cursor states inside of Roblox. So you can have a whole custom array of cursors and icons inside of Roblox if you wish. Good luck and I hope it helps.